Hello everybody and welcome back. So those of you who are new, hi and welcome so much. My name is Amy and I am going to point out because there are a few books that I'm dyslexic if I struggle to read. Um, do apologise if you can hear your noise, the window's open because it's a fairly nice day. It's not beautifully sunny but it's not cold. Um, the temperature's quite nice. I mowed the lawn and did some putting around in the garden yesterday, even read and had a cup of tea in the garden as well yesterday and the washing machine's on. So bank holiday Monday, we went to a car boot, myself, my partner and our nine year old soon who's going to share what he found once I finished. Was a little bit disappointed, but I did find a few things. Uh, although my dad's found us a new one to check out this coming Saturday. So fingers crossed for that one. Um, so the first thing I got is for my three year old niece. So my sister does the book advent calendar for her. And obviously because she's three, she needs to update some of the more babyish books. So this is Ella, Bella, Ballerina, and the Nutcracker. That's like that, what's that rhyme? She sells, she sells on the she short. You know what I mean, but yeah, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? It's quite a large book, so I don't know how my sister's gonna feel about wrapping this up. There are a few little marks on it, but this was a pound instead of 11.99, and I was very much drawn in by the cover books. I'm always drawn in by the covers. Some beautiful illustrations. Um, the lady had got two bag for life bags with books in and it was a pound each or three for a pound I did have a little rummage through but I don't it, everyone's different some people like rummaging I like to rummage a little bit but it can be a bit more difficult with books I like it when they're like set out like that and you can like flick through but yeah I found that one and a different lady um I found these books she said her son had really enjoyed reading them we have two of these already one I bought in Tesco um which he loved and then I found another one in the charity shop and then these two at the car boot. There's one more left to get that um, Dermot has wrote so far. About Ninja Cat, he really likes them. These were a pound each. And honestly, with children, when you're trying to get them to read, any book or series or author that you can find, just go with it. And then what I do with series is um, I notes on my phone and I note down what I've got already because I've made the mistake of buying duplicates in the past. But they are nice. They're quite nice covers as well and on the spines next up I have there was a lady she was obviously an Avon rep because she'd got loads it was she'd got a few other things like bags and shoes but mostly she'd got loads of Avon products and this is their pillow sleep mist with French lavender and calamine essential oils tried a boots one and I can't remember I tried another one didn't enjoy it as much I'm not normally a fan of lavender but I do really like this and we do find it works obviously it doesn't it's not going to work all the time if you overuse it but we really like this and this was two pounds then next up i have some plants so again if you've seen my previous videos you know i'm into my gardening now uh, these are french marigolds because these are good apparently they give up a scent that aphids and black flies don't like the slugs are really attracted to them but they're what you call like sacrificial plants or complementary plants so like if you've got say broad beans, runner beans, tomatoes or anything like that, help keep the black fly and aphids and stuff off. And when they're young, um, it helps the slugs will be attracted to these and hopefully leave your other plants alone. I bought five, so I'd got five left. I think they were 60p each and maybe two for a pound. I can't quite remember, but I bought the last five that I had and I do need to get some more. So hopefully on Saturday I'll be able to find some more. Uh, we have another book. We've not read anything by him before, but this looked like something that my son might like. And there are obviously other books out. This was a pound. If he enjoys reading this, then again, I will add it to the notes on my phone to make a list. Next up, I know this is a copy because it was only a fiver, but it's a Tottenham strip. Um, but my son's been wearing his proper shirt out the front to play. It does look actually rather big if you can hear a noise that is my washing machine telling me that it's finished um i think this might actually actually can you come here yeah i think this might be a bit too big turn around so i can see you back yeah it is a little <laughs> it's quite big that is well at least it won't damage mm -hmm. the short but yeah, yeah it this was five pounds so that he's gonna have to grow into and these because like i said he's been wearing his normal one out the front and um when he's out playing like on the trampoline and stuff in the grass. Oh, it's fell on the floor, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. As you see, he was nine, but he's not massive, is he? 
And the last thing for me is another cookbook, like some of my previous finds that I've put out on here. I am thinking now of doing a shelf. I can't decide whether I want one big shelf or two staggered shelves. I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm gonna go for a shelf to put like my cookbooks and pictures and things on. So it's a Mary Berry cookbook, don't have any of hers at all. Um, this was a pound instead of 20. The only thing I was slightly disappointed with is normally when they have these cover sleeves on, when you take it off, it's the same picture, but it's not on this because I do like the gold, but this is a little bit tatty at the top. But I've not had any of her books before, but I thought you've got to have one really, haven't you? And there are some really nice, beautiful pictures in there. So that's everything from me. So next up is my son, who's going to share what he found. So what's your first thing? My first thing is this transformer. Yeah. It's a small one, but it was only 50p. I liked it, so. Yeah, you do like your transformers, don't you? Then it was your, these bags, weren't they? Bags. Do you know how much these were? 50p. Which is a really good price for these. These are transformer one pound surprise bag. This is series six. They've been around quite a while, haven't they? One pound fifty for three of them. Yeah, and then it was your doom buggy. Yeah, remote control car. How much was that? It was eight pounds fifty, I think. Yeah, and then they gave you the little figures for free, didn't they? Yeah, they which... came with a little grenade launcher and because it's Fortnite, isn't it? Yeah, which is really Fortnite. nice of them. So just show you, just a remote control car, and then. Your last thing is now, when I got back in, because his dad and him went off and wandered around on the road, when we got back in the car, I was like, do we really need more Nerf guns? Because if you've got children, especially boys, they, they have Nerf guns, don't they? But these aren't Nerf guns, are they? No. It's How not. much were they? It was 50p for this one and one pound, yeah. one pound for that. So yeah. one pound 50 for both of them. This one, you put the car in first because... And they're a special type yeah, of car. They're a Nerf car. They're a bit like... um. It's a rubbery type of car yeah. that like you'd have for a... Yeah, the, the special movie. cars are designed to go in these. So you load it in there, don't you, yeah. on this one. You pull that put, back. Yeah, when and you then put it, it back, it'd click. If but, there was a car. Yeah. And then there's a little trigger here and it shoots the car down. This one... This I one think I you like. can do one car at a time yeah, in, in that this one. one. I like this one because you have to push this button yeah. and pull that back. And this takes nine cars. I only have one because I lost my purple one. And we can find some more, can't we? So you load yeah. them in there and then just on the trigger then they shoot out of there, don't Because they? it's electric, so you need batteries in it, but we unfortunately couldn't get any. Look, the batteries, we got to buy batteries for this one. Yeah. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed. Look at the camera. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And like I said, my dad's found uh, a new car boot for us to check out um, on this coming Saturday. So fingers crossed, I might be a bit more lucky there because I'm looking for like some wooden bowls. We really need some new glasses. Can't find any to find new in the shops that I like. So I'm checking around the charity shops and car boots. But when I find one, there's like one or two, but I want like at least four in a, in a set of the, you know, certain heights and things like that. So yeah, um, if you got to the end of the video, thank you so much. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up at the end and subscribe if you want to see more contents for us. So from me and Connor, thank you very much and bye. Bye.